Hi, my name is Crotto from CloudChoice. Today I'm going to be showing you how valuable a CRM can be when managing tenants with regards to a property management company. So for today's example, we're going to be using Fresh Sales CRM. Um, so you can see along the sides here, we have the four pillars. Remember the leads, the contacts, the accounts, and the deals. Um, so for today's example, I have already created a room number here, J103, under an account. I set it up as an account to streamline the process a lot better. So let's go ahead and open up this account. So under the account, we're going to see that we have three contacts. I already have three contacts associated with this account, um, room 103. So you can see it's on floor one, apartment three, but there's four bedrooms. So we're clearly missing one more contact to make up this account and turn it into a deal. So this is what it would look like. Um, you can create your custom fields however you'd like. Um, you can enter your notes, your notes, set up tasks, appointments based on what you want to do with them. You can send a bulk email to all uh, four of these people. If there is a problem with the room, for example, someone might not be paying their rent. Um, you can, you're able to send one email and automate it that way instead of just you know sending the email to the exact same person each time. Um, Fresh Sales allows you to streamline the process and save your time on all the admin work so you can focus more on your customers. Um, so let's just quickly show you here uh, how to do that now that we I have this account set up. Um, Jay uh, represents, so we're working with one of the uh, student building companies called Region Student Living um, in the St. Catharines region. They're actually doing very well and they're loving fresh sales so far. Um, so this is what we've done for them and we've created it in the system here that way. So let's go ahead and now add a new lead. Again, we're going to go ahead and press new at the top here, press lead. And here's all the custom fields we created for them. I mean, if you are using a uh, CRM, feel free to, you know, kind of copy this template if it is something that you find valuable. Um, let's just start typing in here. So the first name, last name. So birth year, we found that very important just to see, you know, when the student might be graduating. Um, so we'll put 1997, male, female, um, current tenant. So we're going to put no. You can always update these fields later. Right to better track and you know manage your uh, customers and tenants like that. Um, so mobile, this might be important to have. We'll make that up. Email. So, um, for example, what we have Region doing, um, they actually do a lot of promotions. Um, they set up a tent and try and get leads that way. So, Fresh Sales actually has a mobile app. So, basically, whenever they're out in the community, um, they just pull out the. They have an iPad, and the lead, the leads can actually just type in their information. They just give them the iPad, and they can just fill this out for them. So, this is why this promotion is important for them to you know track the reports and see how the leads are coming in. Um, so, let's say. Tabling, this lead came from tabling. Um, we're going to continue here. So this is another important thing we created now. So if it's an individual, so these three uh, contacts I have here, um, they're all friends, but maybe uh, Matthew here is by himself and is just looking for a room. That's why it's very important here um, to include that he's an individual. But now we're going to make sure that we align it well with there. Um, app, send application, no parking. So we have all this here, you know, status, lead stage, um, you can select the agent you'd like to connect it with. So it's going to be my lead. Um, we're going to go ahead and press save. Great. So now the lead's in the system. We want to convert this lead into the into a contact. Remember the four pillars. We're going to convert him now. Convert. All right. So now that he's here, um, he is now a contact. We can go ahead and edit here. account name. So remember the account name I put there, J103. We can go ahead and type that in. And then he's going to be associated with the room number, J103. So that's how easy it was just to do that. So now I go back to the account. I can see now J103. We have the four tenants now to create a deal with this. Um, this is what Fresh Sales has here. So for example, Region Student Living actually has two buildings. Um, that they're able to manage. So what we've done for them, um, Fresh Sales actually has a multiple uh, pipeline. So this is the pipeline here. Um, you can track, you know, what deals are coming in from where. So we created two pipelines for them, one for James Street and then one for Lake Street. They're two different buildings because it can get confusing at times if you're going to have um, all these deals tracking, um, you know, one building. So, I mean, I think they have over... Uh, 150 uh, students in each building. So, I mean, that's why it, it, it can get confusing at times if it's like that. So we were able to set it up differently that way. So 
now that we have uh, the account ready to go, let's create this into a deal. So we have this account opened up. We're going to add the deal. So the name of the deal might be J103 because this is the room that we're going to lock down. The related contacts, you can just type them all in there. So for example, um, I'll do that after. So that's basically that. The deal value, um, let's say it's 500 a month for each of the tenants. Expected close date, I need them to give me an answer by the end of the month. Their move-in date, um, I think we are scheduled for the 4th, the move-out date. Let's say it is May 1st. They have to be out. Building, we're going to put them under James Street. Apartment number, 103. So now let's go back to the deal stage. Remember the four pillars here. And we can see that they're now at the prospect stage. I mean, this is a great feature here that, again, we can just drag and drop. So they're, they seem interested. Um, let's say they want to move them to the active stage now. We can just drag and drop. We're going to follow up with them. They, we've signed, they've signed the contract. Once they've signed the contract, we know we've won the deal. And then we just drag and drop. Okay, so what's great as well, um, Regent also wanted to know um, why they were losing a deal, for example. So we can just drag it here. And then it will pop up. It says, why did you lose the deal? Uh, price is too high. Not interested. Um, so we can create these fields here as well. So um, managers might want to know what the sales agent's doing wrong, what happened, and stuff like that. So that's really great. That's really easy for you to streamline this entire process. I mean, this is just to be able to track your leads. Um, now with regards to, uh, let's say, what we did for them actually as well was each floor, we created a separate group for them. Um, so let's say there might be an issue on the fourth floor. So basically what they can do here, so let's just say these are, these are all the contacts from the fourth floor, let's just say, right? So I can go here and select all of them. I can do bulk email. So let's say I want to let them know, hey, guys, there is a problem on the fourth floor. Um, just be careful. Uh, there is a water issue. Just, you know, um, just be careful. So we can also create email templates as well. Just insert that. Say, hi, guys. You know, fourth floor issue and then you can just go ahead and send it's going to send it to all of them um, another key feature here instead of saying hi guys you want to have that personal touch on all your emails um, these are called placeholders so we can just insert the placeholder first name so it says hi it's going to grab matthew's first name corrado's first name michael's first name and mark's first name in the system, it's going to automatically do that for you. I mean, that's great. Um, obviously, you want to have that personal touch, especially if you're keeping uh, relationships with your customers. You want to keep them loyal. Uh, so that's how easy it is. Again, you can just send it, use templates, have everything ready to go um, and stuff like that. So that's how easy it is to manage uh, using a CRM uh, with regards to a business uh, building. And especially with the students and tenants, you can keep those close relationships. You can have that deal pipeline view. You can customize it however you'd like. Um, based on your needs. Um, Fresh Sales is very flexible that it allows you to do uh, many things. Again, you can send emails, you can make calls within the system, uh, set up appointments, view your reports, see how well your campaigns are being run, send email campaigns. There is just so much you can do. Um, give it a shot. We're, we're giving away a 30-day free trial in the link below. Uh, sign up. You can send us an email always at info at cloudchoice.ca. We're always here to answer any questions that you may have. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great one. Bye-bye.